Alicia Stringer, and we got Paley with me, hey. and we have Tina over there, and we are Determined Women Winning inside of our uh -huh. Inner Power Intensive Group that we're doing for our assignment today is What If? And we want to make sure that you see the transformations happen inside of us so you can be able to apply and, and take part of it with us um, in, the, in this boot camp with us. Join now. And um, January is just powerful to be a part of it. And so watch carefully on how this is played in place. So um, I did it twice. I don't, wasn't ready for another one, but maybe Tina can go first and I'll get my, my brainstorming going. Because I definitely have a few that I could get hold of. Can you get a piece of paper right there? And, okay. and so Tina's going to share where she's from, where, where she's at, and um, explain some of her what if. My what ifs have definitely grown. Um, hey, everybody, I'm Tina Rohde here in New York City. And um, we've just started the Inner Power Intensive this week. And from the first session, it for me and even just some of the other ladies, I it was clear how powerful it was. Uh, the focus of this week is to release the past, whatever pains have been holding you back and things that just have a grip on you. I know for me personally, I didn't even realize the grip that was holding me, but I was able to release it. I'm still releasing it. And in all honesty, after the initial release, I do feel lighter. And I've even had like people say to me, I can hear it in your voice and um, I can see it. Like you, you kind of almost got a glow to you now. So, you know, just realizing and coming to terms with, with, just feeling things that, that are from your past. I mean, I'm talking about things for me that go back to my childhood that I just never even realized how much of an impact that, you know, that one particular instance had over throughout my entire life. I mean, I'm almost 50 years old now, 47, but after looking back, I could clearly tell the difference in um, how the, the, the path that my life has taken and how that impact played a part in that. So, you know, I'm grateful for this inner power intensive, the superwoman connection completely, because just to be able to be in an environment where, you know, you can be 100% yourself and it's a safe environment where you can release and, and, you know, shed tears and hug each other and tell each other it's going to be okay. You know, unfortunately, it's an environment that we as women generally don't experience. So I'm definitely very grateful to have such a community like that, that I can go to and I know I can say, listen, guys, you know, I'm having this issue, I'm having that issue. And even, you know, to have a community that can give me a kick in the butt when I need it and say, listen, this is what you need to be doing. Why aren't you doing it? So it's a it's a great community and combination of things that, you know, helps each and every one of us grow. And, you know, my what ifs, um, it's kind of gone off the sheet at this point. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of like run off the sheet. So I'll share some of them with you. Most of them are um, business related because I know that um, there are things that, I know are holding me back and I know that once I burn this, I'll be able to release some of them. So I won't read all of them, but um, a couple of them are, um, what if I don't start making sales? Um, what if I can't quit my job in 90 days? One of my goals is to be able to quit my job in 90 days. So that's a concern for me that I always, you know, I'm always worrying about different things, different things. Um, let's see, I've got, um, what if I don't hit gold, which is one of our ranks? What if I don't get to go to Hawaii, <laughs> which it kind of combines with the gold? You know, that's one, that's one of the places on my, what I call my lived list that I want to visit. You know, I checked off London and Paris last year, so, you know, progress is being made. Um, let me see, I got, I'm losing myself here. What if... Okay. Um, another one, what if I don't move in two years? I set a goal that um, I've been in New York all, all my life and basically I'm tired of it and I'm ready to go. So my youngest daughter is now a junior in high school. So I had said, you know, when she graduates, I want to be able to leave New York. You know, enough is enough. My two older girls are already married, gone. And, you know, she's the last one. She's really the reason why I'm still here. 
So when she graduates, I want to be able to get away. So I think about that a lot. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? A big one um, that I've always had an issue with, what if I don't inspire people? Because I don't, I mean, you have to be able to inspire people for them to really be able to connect with you. Now I've had people tell me that, you know, I've inspired them in different ways. And so it's, 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 it's growing, but I just feel like I'm still, you know, that's, that's something I got to burn and get rid of. What if no one cares? Because I tend to think that no one really wants to know my story. Nobody cares, you know, what I've been through. But what I've been learning uh, since connecting with um, the Superwomen and this um, Inner Power Intensive is that we all actually have very similar stories in one way or another. So while over the years I've been thinking, you know, I'm going through this all alone, there's actually a lot of other people that are experiencing the same things. And um, the biggest one, I'll close out with the biggest one for me is um, what if I fall behind in my assignments? And that's because, you know, I'm still working a full-time job, so time is limited, you know, and sometimes when I get home, you know, I feel like, okay, I got to cram so much into a certain number of hours, and what if I can't get it all done? You know, using uh, yesterday as an example, it was, you know, one team hangout, and did another hangout, and did another hangout, and then I kind of felt like, I don't have time to do this assignment and I haven't done this and haven't done that. So that's something that's very big for me. And um, I worry about that a lot, a lot. So the rest of them, I won't, you know, that's it for now. <laughs> so I'll let you go ahead and share some of yours, Alicia. Okay. Um, I'm in the same boat. Um, these are all pretty powerful and have a deep meaning for us in a different way. And um, mine are similar. I was like, try not to write the same thing, but <laughs> being more personal with it. Um, what if I, um, you know, really don't um, finish what I stand for? And I think that's important to be who I who I am. What if? Um, because I always felt like I was. Um, being pleasing somebody else. I was kind of pleasing um, like someone who I wanted to no not yet who walked who like how it had power over me over the income or something some type of power over me um, and um, I wanted to be myself and release you know that that power I think in some way um, so I said, what if something happens to Paley? And what if um, I don't get to move to Houston? What if I'm not able to pay my bills, which I still haven't done in two days and it's two months behind. So that still is still that right there and violated by putting my face on the internet because I've been felt violated with this spam chat people coming into my Periscope. I feel violated with that, um, even though I know they can't do anything but those uh, strong comments that I'm not prepared for during the broadcast. <laughs> what if I'm not able to get enough people and to get ranks, which happened again last month. I was like, well, I'm not getting enough leads to get people in. Um, or the targeted people and just all, all those little things missing. I'm like, I'm not able. What if, what, what if, you have to say one what if. What if nothing? What if I can't burn it? What if I'm violated? Um, let's see, what did I? What if I'm not able to go to Hawaii? What if I'm not able to create any results? What we if I am alone? We have to go to, to Hawaii. See, it's right there, right there. Let's burn it. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> I'm so ready. ready. So ready. Okay, put it down. Put it down. Yeah, even, this is ready. burning. Because we're going to Hawaii. Miss Hawaii is on everyone's <laughs> list. All right, so I'm going to move over a little bit. Watch out, Bella. All right, I'm just gonna move over a little bit because I have, I kind of got, I don't want the flames to go everywhere, so I'm gonna, I know. Kind of, I got a pot instead. <laughs> She's got her pot. There you so go. I just kind of put the paper down in it. There you go. Yeah, this is actually um, my candle that I use. I don't know if I like it. Look at her pretty candle. 
That's um, a candle that we were given. My aunt passed a couple of years ago, and you know she was like a mom to me. So I, I burn this every so often, and I thought, you know, she's always been a person who's always supported me in whatever I do. So I kind of felt that was kind of appropriate to burn her candle a little bit for this. Nice. All right. So let's see. Your hand. It's coming. It's coming. Burn, burn, put it down. Put it down. It's still gonna burn. Burn, burn, burn. burn. See, it kind of went burn. out when I put it down. Let it burn. Let it burn. Burn, baby, burn. Burn. Is it burning okay in the pot? Because ours is. Yeah, actually, it is. We probably should have put it out of pot. This, this works. I figured so, that probably would be safer than like to have the flames going everywhere. Can you see it's still burning? Yeah, that's a good idea. That's what we're burning. Burn. Burn, burn. Oh, burn down. It's going to burn your fingers. It's going to burn. It's going to burn. Your fingers. Ah. There's my ashes. Now I've got ashes. Can you see the ashes? I see the ashes. Burn it. For going hey, who move, your finger, move your finger. It's coming. It's coming. Ah. <laughs> is it gonna finish? I can burn it all. I can make sure it finishes. Yeah, mine is done. Are you still burning? We're still burning. We're still burn. <laughs> oh, see, you got a flat surface. That's a good idea too. <laughs> And we don't want to make this a lesson of playing with fire. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this is fun. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's enjoying this. A little too much, it We're looks like. We're burn that piper. <laughs> We're going to remember this. This is why we're going to Hawaii, because you burned this paper. That's right. <laughs> no! I don't want you to burn that one out. No, you burned it all over the beard. Oh my goodness, you're gonna burn my computer. Oh my goodness. No! <laughs> Come get a paper towel now, crazy girl. We, we blew our ashes away. I didn't get that out. <laughs> no. Oh, oh yes. All burned away. All burned oh, away. Burn. Not burned. It's not yeah. burned away. We gotta keep burning. <laughs> we got a little bit more. You know, I should get a little bit. <laughs> Make sure mine burned all the way. Oh, wait a minute. There's a page that tried to hang around. A little yeah, burn piece. It all away. I got a little piece left that tried to hang on. So I got to burn this. That's the size of ours. Yep. Damn. All right. Keep burning. You got it all over me, Bailey. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. All right. So now I'm going to light up this piece. I'm going to use my lighter this time because I'm afraid if I stick it in the candle, it might catch me. Yeah, I'll just burn in the candle. That's what I thought happened to you. Burn, burn, burn. She's in her kitchen. No, she just got a pot. No, I got a pot. It's going to burn your hand. No, it's burning. It's burning your hands. It's not burning. <laughs> To make sure nothing is left, because that's the trip to Hawaii. Yeah. Everything must be ashes. It's burn. I don't know what this section is, but this one little section is, does not want to burn all the way. So I'm going to pull it back out again. That's what I'm down to now. My little piece. Hey, little piece. There we yeah. go. Woo. Done. One little piece. Okay. Oh, yeah. Burn, 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 burn. Hey, burn keep on burning. No, you're done with your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I need to burn. Oh my goodness. All so right. Oh, burn now. There's our ashes. Woo -hoo. There you go. And our ashes. Oh, ashes now. Yes, No, no. Keep it smaller. Make them smaller. Make them smaller. Make them smaller. Make them smaller. No. Make them smaller. We'll go take 
in the trash. Why did you? You know, and just like what, what you were saying with your um your Periscope, that, you know, I, I told you I watched it, and so I, I, I saw some of the comments that you got on there. That's one of the my biggest fears, you know, because people, people are crazy. You know, and even though, like you're saying, you're scoping about, you know, trying new things, it's like, what are these people talking about? Mm -hmm. So it can be, you know, the, the internet can be pretty scary, you know what I mean? Because you just, you always counter, encounter crazy things like that, I think. But, you know, that, that was one of the things that kind of deterred me about getting online and really exposing myself. But now, you know, I've come to a point where I, I have to, to block those people out and know that there are other, to get to the right people. And I'm trying to get my message across to people that I can relate to. And oh, yeah. this. You're telling me, girl, my Twitter account is 70% men. So right. <laughs> I have to squeeze through that and talk to <laughs> And I'll just take the compliments. You're beautiful and, you know. I just I, I, I'm accepting that now. I burned it, you know, and just it's and take and appreciate the com compliments and, and just move on. <laughs> you know, so uh, we can do this. We got it. You know, Definitely. I'm looking forward to week two. That's starting tonight, and um, ready to move on and I'm much more far away. Paper. This paper. No mermaids allowed. Okay. <laughs> Is that your fear? Your your. <laughs> what have we started, Tina? <laughs> I don't know. But she's I'm ready to burn. Now. She's ready to burn. She's ready to burn. <laughs> Where to watch my influence right here? <laughs> oh my goodness. See, I mentioned making it a habit to burn stuff. We don't want to play with fire. Yeah, we don't want to play with fire. That was this, this is a special opportunity oh, we have to do. To be honest, I <laughs> She, she wants to know what else she can burn that's going to get her to Hawaii. Oh, my goodness. Good. So that is our burn session. I didn't need that part. I didn't need that part. So if you want to influence your kids and release all this fear, make sure you get with us. Whoever invited you here to the same now and get inside the inner power and burn. Yes, definitely leave a comment if you want to know when the next um, boot camp will start. I believe they said it's going to be in January, right? Next month? Yeah. Next yeah. Camp. yeah. So, and it's just, you know, it's more than about fire and, and burning stuff. You know, it's oh, yeah. more so about releasing, releasing what's holding you back that will allow you to move forward. So, right. but at the same time, you know, you got to make it fun as well, you know, burn those things, let them go, move forward, get the kids involved, let them burn some stuff too, you know, I mean, in, in, in all reality, you know, she's there with you and this is fun for her, but at the same time, like for me, my personal experience, you know, the pain that I had to release came from my childhood, you know, when I was even younger than her. So, yeah. you know, you'd be surprised how these things can, can connect together, you know? So I'm just grateful to be able to be a part of it. And I'm, I'm looking forward to tonight and the next four weeks. It's going to be even more powerful, I think. Totally. And, and seeing the transformations I'm doing, you know, is, is working in her as well. Seeing the example and the strength that I'm doing of, you know, how I'm changing, I, I can see it in, in her as well. So that's why I try to get her involved as much as I can and, and share with her things that this really changed me and, and to share that with her so she can um, experience that with me and then understand that when that happens to her in her life, she knows how to deal with it as well because there are some changes, you know, with trying to move or um, you know, deal with different people and situations that you have no control over and how you need to deal with that. So um, we've, we've been working through that. So it's exciting to, to see us both change. <laughs> <in all of this. laughs> 
Well, it's a process that you're going through together. So, you know, I mean, and, and moving is, is a big, it's a big deal. I mean, I've, you know, I, I label myself, I tell people I'm a gypsy because I mean, I've moved around all my life and that's even as a child, you know, I'm always moving around. I remember in high school, you know, my best friend told me, she's like, I'm just going to write your address in pencil because, you know, you're always moving. But, you know, change is good, <laughs> you know. So, you know, moving around, it, there's nothing wrong with it. Of course, you do want to build a foundation, you know, especially when you have kids. But sometimes, you know, when the move is necessary, then that's what you have to do. Right. You know, and I'm pretty sure, you know, you're looking to make the move because it's necessary. You're ready to move on and move to the next stage of your life and you know moving in and in, that involves moving then so be it yes yep so are we done i guess we're done and we got to get ready for we got what maybe about a little more than a half an hour before our next session which i am looking forward to i can't wait to see what what i'm going to go through this time <laughs> yes because the lessons are just so powerful i thought also um Marisol's lesson about you know the the, the negative uh, in it, the negative conversations that you have and you know like when she was talking about comparing yourself to other people and you know things of that nature just the own negative self talk that you go through and how it holds you back and being able to release that I thought that was really powerful too. Oh yes. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to tonight's session. So we're going to sign off for now. And again, feel free to leave us a comment below. Find out about the next um, boot camp for the, <clears throat> excuse me, the Superwomen Inner Power Intensive. Get back with the person who invited you to watch this video. Um, whatever you need to do to help you release whatever has been holding you back, that's what we're here for. Have a good night. Thank you, Tina. Awesome. Good night. Thank Bye, you, guys. Lisa. Night, night. <laughs>